Hello everyone, welcome back to your class. Today is Thursday, June the 4th, 2020, and this is our session number 13. Let's start. I'm going to ask you some questions. The question is, how many crayons are there? Look at the picture and tell me how many crayons are there. Let's count together. One, two, three. So, there are three crayons. Next question. What color is the frog? What color is the frog, guys? Yes, the frog is green. Now, how many bananas are there? Let's count the bananas together. One, two, three, four. There are four bananas. Now, is there a clock in the classroom? Do you see a clock in the classroom? Yes, there is a clock. Now, does he like cookies? Does he like cookies? Yes, he does. He likes cookies. So, this unit, we have been talking about healthy food, such as fruit and vegetables, right? Good food, healthy food. These kids have something to tell us. The boy wants to tell you that healthy food is good for you. La comida saludable es buena para ti. And the girl says that good food helps you grow strong. Look, this is what happens when you eat good food, healthy food. You grow strong. Cuando comemos bien, crecemos fuertes. Like these kids. Now, please open your student's book in page number 91. Look at the picture. What do you see? What is the bird doing? The bird is eating good food. The title here is eat good food and the bird is eating good food. The bird is eating berries. These are berries. The animals, they also eat good food, healthy food. For example, this rabbit is eating lettuce. Lettuce is healthy food. Here we have another bird eating berries. Here we have a koala. Animals also eat good food. Okay, here we have a text. It says, eat fruits and vegetables. Drink water and juice. Eat fruits and vegetables, drink water and juice. Now it's time to read and copy. Repeat after me. I eat fruits and vegetables. I drink water and juice. Okay, guys, you are going to copy the sentence here. Take out your pencil and copy the sentence, please.
Now, take out your workbook and open it in page number 68. We have a reading. It says, listen and read. Activity 14. Listen and read. Fruit. Every day, people eat fruit. Apples, oranges, and lemons are fruits. They grow on trees. People can eat the fruit. They can make juice from the fruit. People can make lemonade from lemon juice and water. Okay, now repeat after me. Repitan conmigo. Fruit. Every day, people eat fruit. Apples, oranges, and lemons are fruits. They grow on trees. People can eat the fruit. They can make juice from the fruit. People can make lemonade from lemon juice and water. So it says every day. What is every day? Todos los días. Every day, people eat fruit. Apples, oranges, and lemons are fruits. They grow on trees. Fruits grow on trees. For example, this is an orange tree. People can eat the fruit. They can make juice from the fruit. People can make lemonade from lemon juice and water. Now I want you to look at the pictures. This one says, fruit on a farm. This is a farm. Sometimes people plant fruit trees on farms so they can have fruit. And this one says, fruit at home. Sometimes people have fruit trees in their houses so they can have fruit. For example, in this house, they have a lemon tree. Now it says, grief, circle, yes or no. We are going to answer, this is about the reading. Number one, many people eat fruit, yes or no? Yes, the reading says that every day people eat fruit. So the answer is yes. Number two, some people grow on trees. Yes or no? No, people doesn't grow on trees. Las personas no crecen en árboles. Number three, oranges grow on trees. Yes or no? Yes, oranges grow on trees. That is true. Number four, lemonade is apple juice and water. To prepare a lemonade, you need apple juice? Necesitan jugo de manzana para preparar una limonada? No, you need lemon juice and water. Now, please open your grammar workbook in page number 31. It says, look and write. Complete the sentences. So we have a picture here. And it says, there is a girl. And what else do you see? ¿Qué más ven en la imagen? Pero dice, aquí dice, and. We use an before a vowel. Utilizamos an antes de una vocal. 
For example, we can write orange, an orange. There is an orange in the picture, right? There is an orange. What else? Now we have a, a boy. Boy starts with a consonant. We use a before a consonant. Utilizamos a antes de una consonante y an antes de una vocal. Then we have an, an. It can be an air. There is an egg here. Here it is. Air starts with a vowel. Empieza con una vocal, por eso utilizamos an. Number two says, there isn't an. Ahora vamos a escribir cosas que no hay. For example, there isn't an apple. There isn't an apple in the picture. No hay una manzana en la fotografía. There isn't an apple, a cookie, a chicken, and an eraser. ¿Qué más se les ocurre que no hay en la fotografía? Now, it says, look and write. We have some pictures we are going to write. The name of the object. Number one says, an orange. Number two, what is it? A sandwich, good job. Number three. Yes, it's an apple. Number four, what is it? A skirt. And number five? A bike. Number six? An eraser. It's an eraser. Number seven? It's an egg. And number eight? A finger. Good job. Write the answers in your book. Okay, guys. That's it for today. See you next class. I am so proud of you. I love you so much. Goodbye.